What's up guys? In this video I will show you how to create turbulent displace line. So if you want this. So first you need to create a shape layer. I have my clips ready here. As you can see it's just a simple transition. So this line is very good on the transitions. Uh, when you want to hide something, for example, the motion tile here, as you can see. So I will just add turbulent displays. It's in After Effects. It's normal. Not you not no need, uh, for example, Sapphire plugin or BCC. Just just type turbulent displays here. So I will show you what I found here. Only need to play with the values here and uh, options. So okay, uh, create a line just you know like this. And first, turn off the uh, turbulent displays. Uh, sometimes I use 100, and it's also good. But for the tutorial, I will use uh, 60. Now we have the line, and turn on the turbulent displays. As you can see, it's wave. We're gonna change uh, amount, size, and complexity. We have to change uh, displacement effect. I mean the option here to uh, vertical or horizontal it depends on the uh, line so it will be the vertical because uh, I want line go from the uh, bottom to the top so okay first uh, change complexity maybe on the five six it's optimal now it's like the mountains you know okay now you can change size and the values here are just random I you know choose the random values here I just show you guys a cool way to use the turbulent displays. Okay, I think this is fine. It's fine for me. So now you have to check the motion blur effect uh, or motion blur uh, option, you know. And now you have to open the position, you know, position bar here. Right click uh, and separate dimensions. And now we have to animate only this, this option because we want uh, this line go from the bottom to the top. As you can see, the the waves I can say waves, I guess, uh, change when I move the line, and now it will be on the top. Hope you understand me. You know. So now, just check uh, that two keyframes, F9, and use graph only on the Y position. Okay. So it looks better uh, when there is, a, for example, varp, a bounce shake, I call it bounce shake, because this is the best shake that you can use in your edits, that's my honest opinion. Uh, and yeah, I will add Deep Glow because it's really good plugin, so I really use it often. I think I will first pre-compose it, and now I can add uh, Deep Glow, so as you can see it's glow effect here on the line so I think that's all you can of course you can change uh, values here if you want and play with the settings it's really fun to uh, find your own way to use turbulent displays or other effects you know what I mean so I think that's everything really simple tutorial this is the first uh, tutorial with the voice and sorry if you know I'm struggling with talking but this is the first time so yeah this is all you can use it wh wherever you want on the transitions on the background whatever it depends on your cool ideas so give you lightning strike with motivation and you know everything so that's it thanks for watching